Happy Tuesday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. If this is the first time you're tuning into my page, I welcome you. So I titled my message today with the um, title, Five Ways to Go Beyond Your Limitations. This message was completely inspired by my mentor, Paul Martinelli, and I just love the message so much that I knew I just had to share it with you. So five ways to go beyond your limitations. Number one, you're going to have to stay connected to your mentors. Okay, so find somebody that you can that has done what it is that you're looking for and follow them. Um, see how they went from point A to point B. Think, see the things that they're doing. Mimic the things that they're doing. You know, I have a coach, so um, my coach and I stay connected and um, she's able to see the blind spots in places that I cannot see and help me to um, push forward. Number two, you have to work on your mindset. And this is something that my coach constantly um, talks about as well, because you can't work on your mindset one time. This is something that's going to be continuously um, something that you have to work on. So, you know, we can go to events, we can listen to things, but unless we are actively trying to make changes, our mind is always going to trick us into going back to the things that we that are that we already know, things that we um, are too afraid to do, and then we don't um, improve our minds and we can't get past that. Number three, you have to um, do what's hard and uncomfortable. You've got to make the uncomfortable become comfortable to you, which means that you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone, which means that you're going to have to do things that are that are that you've never done before. In order to get new results, you know, you're going to have to do things that you've never done before. So the things that scare you, you're going to have to do them in order to get to the next point. Okay, so make those things become more normal than what you used to. And then number four, you must build the image of what it is that you want in your mind first. Right? You have to have an image of what it is that you that you want. We're so used to um, knowing and being solid in our minds of the things that we do not want. Right? Maybe you hate a certain thing. Maybe you hate you know, what you're doing right now and so forth. You have that so solid in your mind that we forget to create the image of what it is that we want. Most people can't tell you what a perfect day looks like for them. You know, how would they feel in that perfect day? What makes it a perfect day? What, what, what would they be doing? Where will they be? What's the scenery? Most people cannot describe that at all. But you know what? In order for you to have that life that you dream about, you've got to first see it in your mind. So that it becomes an image that you hold steadfast to and that you continuously see and you continuously build on, okay? And then number five, you have to challenge your, your inner critic voice, okay? That's the voice that will, will keep you small. That's the voice that says, are you serious? You really think you can do that? That's the one that leads you to imposter syndrome, the one that leads you to comparison, where you're comparing yourself against other people so you start to feel a little bit small or you still you feel unworthy. You feel like you're not you're not capable of doing something. You you have to get past those things. You have to shut that inner critic that tells you that you cannot do something and get beyond that. Okay, again, five ways to go beyond your limitations. Number one, stay connected to a good mentor. Number two, you've got to work on your mindset. Number three, you've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay, and then number four, you've got to um, build the image of what it is that you want in your mind first. And then number five, challenge that inner critic, that voice that tells you that you're, you, that you're not worthy, that you can't do something um, that you really know you're capable of doing but are too afraid to do. So I hope this helps. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.